Nobody's special, we have to work. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got hoes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my across the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead, that I raps was in fact so that it sat with the bars. <laughs> Bro, I wish I could play music. That song stuck in my head. I love waking up with a random stuck in my head. What's up? What welcome to freaking Daily baby 71. We've been doing this for too many days, bro. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. But listen, if the podcast stops being daily, which I think it will be soon because I got vacations and it's just I got I got vacations, bro, and I got things to do. But the thing is, I got a lot of content I want to post. I got my 40 to 42.5. That's not really a podcast. So besides the daily, if I keep it daily, I might just do I might switch it up and do uh, like a five minute morning podcast where I still do like the, the structured kind of like just a nugget of the day, the nugget farmer comes back and it gives you a quote of the day of like to keep your mind right. Cause I do love that stuff and I do it anyway. So I'm trying to make my life more efficient, but this has been fun. This has been great. You guys have been great, but I have so much content for YouTube and I'm always on my dunk journey. So I actually filmed my hamstring rehab yesterday, me going to the gym and what I did and talking through what I'm doing for my rehab because I know a lot of people would want to see that and I think it's really good for my story when I come back so um so yeah uh, I'm gonna probably get back to just vlogging because those are really fun to do and I think it has everything in it It has I can add my edits with it my fun edits I can uh do some vlogging where I like talk to the camera but also like some fun workout mixes and dunk mixes and I'm almost back to dunking feeling pretty good my hamstring's a little weird I don't really know but um that's the plan so stay tuned and thank you for everything for this podcast you guys have been so awesome and it makes me want to do it every single day and uh yeah so I I do want to do it frequently so like if I'm in in a stretch where I'm home for a while and I'm also making a big change in my life coming soon so that's another reason why I got to focus on my life and you guys understand you guys have lives right you guys are living you guys are breathing you guys are me so you guys should understand my thoughts because we're all the same person we're all in the same universe that's what we do and that's where we're doing it so I have big changes coming up so I'm excited to share that with you guys as well um big news in the content world, things like that. So I, I just can't say too much now, but I am going to New York next week. So if you're in New York Saturday, I want to do a meetup on Saturday. I think that's the plan. Um, so yeah, that would be really dope. I think it's going to be, I don't know exactly where yet. Just follow my Instagram and I'll definitely be updating that. But I would love to meet some people in New York. I have so many friends there, so I got to make time for everybody, friends and family. So it's going to be tough. Um, but yeah, all that focus is there. And that's another reason why I'm doing this podcast. Like can't do it daily. It's really because the other thing about daily is that I want a studio. I can't always be in the studio every single morning of my life because I'm, I'm making moves, baby. I'm, I have a life and I live it. I'm going to come and call and collect. You're going to run and run it all on to the next. Really did it for me. So says 20 million was the goal till I hit it. <laughs> Today hit a dude, so I love that song, man. I'm gonna be bumping it if you watch my Instagram. Why did I just bump into that Rick Ross voice? I don't know. Working on my own raps. I, um, and today I wanted to talk about meditation and visualization for sports. I know I've talked about it a lot, but I wanted to give two really good reasons to do it and keep it really simple and then go into detail. So the first reason is the visualization, I think is key to getting you to believe and your body to believe. And it's a hundred percent necessary. Anything you've ever achieved, you've believed you can do it. And even if you didn't believe it and you got it done, there was a piece of you, piece of you that said, I believe I can do it. Like it's possible. If you ever thought something was not a hundred percent possible, you haven't achieved it yet. Hence why I, I suck at some certain, I couldn't do a dunk for three years because it was a part of me like that really doubted that it's even possible. But like the windmill I say is like, I always thought it was possible. It was just like, I couldn't see myself doing it, but at the same time I was like, oh, it's possible. I just have to jump higher. So I never like didn't believe it. It's, it's very similar, but a little bit different. And number two, um, and then also about what the visualization is. Um, so this is part one B <laughs> the visualization. When you visualize yourself achieving something, it changes the energy you're in right now. So you visualize, oh wow, that dunk feels amazing to hit. I get really energized and it fills you in the current moment with that adrenaline as, as if you hit it. So like your brain doesn't know the difference between memories or future thoughts or current memories. You know what I mean? 
So when you're thinking of a memory in the past, it ignites the same as if you're thinking of a future event. Your brain doesn't know the difference. So if you're visualizing that dunk, your brain actually thinks you completed it, thus changing your brain chemistry and your current energy level, not like hype level, but energy of like what you're producing as you go through the day and like what you're thinking about. So your brain already thinks that's happened. So now you're, you can believe in doing it. Your body believes too. I have a whole podcast on that if you want to learn more about that. Um, and then the... The second reason is the meditation. If you practice meditation daily, then when you're in a contest, when you're in a dunk workout, even you're reminded to be in the moment. So like sometimes when I'm about to go do a dunk is like I I miss a dunk and I, I, I line back up to do it again and I go nuts. And then I realize, oh, wait, take a breath, take like six deep breaths. It lowers my heart rate relaxes my whole body and puts me back in the moment and makes me focus on the dunk instead of like thinking like, Oh, what if I don't hit this? If I, is this a good angle of my video? What if I don't hit this for my video? If I don't, uh, what if I can't do this dunk? People are watching whatever it is, whatever it is, is like you're, you're focused all your attention on there. And that's a really good practice because if you're meditating daily, you get to, um, remind yourself it, it, it builds that awareness. So when you're in moments in and out of sports, any sport you're in is like you f- focus on that moment. You're not thinking of external things. You could be in the moment and that's the best way to be in the flow state performing your best. And that's it. And that's some friggin' fire right there. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to keep this a little short today. Feeling really good though. Hamstrings doing really good. So if, uh, I know a lot of you guys want to see that vlog. So I'm probably going to try to get that edited today and maybe post it tomorrow instead of the podcast, the vlog of my hamstring, make it fun to watch. I talked a little bit about my diet. I talked about why I'm doing the hamstring rehab and what exercise I'm doing and why, and just how I heard it, all that type of thing. And, um, I look forward to making even better videos. So, um, this podcast has been really fun. I'm not saying it's over today, but it might be. But if I don't do it tomorrow, I'm going to do it when I can. But I, when I have nuggets to share, it might just be audio. So if you're subscribed to the podcast, there still will be content for the podcast. It just might not be in video form, and that's it. Um, and I like to produce the high-quality audio. It's hard to have this everywhere I go, but I could always have my phone, something like that. But I'm looking forward to it. Big moves coming. I got big stats coming on the way. I got Lil Max with me. He the wave. And the next, like, I'm trying to stay paid. When I die, I put the money in the grave. Yo, that's so such a good song. I want to make music now. I go on waves, as you can tell. Sometimes I'm really into video. Sometimes I'm really into inspiration. Sometimes I'm really into comedy. Sometimes I'm really into music. But uh, that's why it's hard for me. But all under one umbrella is energy, baby. I just want to go with that energy. I want to provide that energy. And I love it so much. And I love making these videos. We're growing. I'm learning so much about myself. Um, and I'm ready to do comedy. But like I said, I'm making that big ch- transition in my life. Um, I guess I'm not ready to do it. I, I've, I was still writing ready to go yesterday, but I was tired. I went to the gym. I, I dunked the day before. So I took care of my body as a priority and got some good sleep and I'm going to do it when I have time. So this is the, this is what I wanted to say to end it is that, like I said, with the other things like the compound effect, you guys know, I want to do it. If you're a fan of mine right now and you're watching in the future, when I have free time, a goal of mine is to do stand up comedy for real. And the only reason I want to do that is because I want to bring more joy to the world. And the thought of doing that is so fun. And, but I have to work to get there. So just like dunking is like, you want to jump 50 inches, but you, you have to do all the work associated with it to get there. Whoa, sorry about that. You have to do all the work associated to get there. You have to go in the lab. You have to lift. You have to do all the grunt work that sucks. Some people like it. I like it too, but you have to know that it's coming for that. So when you guys see me go in the lab for so long, And then jump higher, you see all the things I went through. So same thing with comedies. I'm going to be working and maybe do some spots here and there, like open mics here and there. But in in the long term of my life, that's what I want to be doing. That's that's how I know I'll be living the life I want to do is I get to do that when I want and get good at it and practice those things that I love to do. So creating content and just maximize my life. So I hope you have a great day. And uh, yeah, thank you for everything. Oh, yeah. And lastly... Subscribe to my email list to get a chance to win the subscriber dunk review. I still plan on doing that soon. And so I'm picking one, one or a couple winners. I already got the winner from the little contest on the thing. And then just sign up for my uh, website and you, and you get 25% off my store if you sign up right now. So sign up for that and I'll pick a winner for the subscriber review. And I'm excited to see your guys' dunks. I'm going to bring that series back as well. Do that often. I mean, uh, sub often. I didn't mean to say that. Sub for uh, whenever I feel like it. Have a good one. I got to get out of here. Toodaloo. Always hoping that one day I don't need an introduction. I got too much on my mind that I'd rather be discussing. I be thinking existential. I got limitless.